you're watching Carl B. Gideon and Gabino Diaz Lawn Care Service Daily Vlog. Let's go. Enjoy. All right. Bad request on here on YouTube. Someone wants to know how you change the blades on the 32 inch right standard. So we're going to show you. First thing, get a jack underneath it. Jack it up. We're doing it here on the trailer ramp. I put a block underneath the bottom of the door there, ramp to keep that, keep the mower from running back. So you take the lid off. We use an impact gun right there. I believe that's a 15-16 socket on this machine. Again, double check. I don't want to tell you wrong. Don't you go out and buy 15-16. And I'll try to get anything to show you. Ken's going to reach underneath there. You want to try to have somebody hold that up there. That way those pieces right there don't fall. Ken, call him grill arms. He got the long arms. Hey, Ray. Yep. And like I said, has some way to hold the top so these don't go rolling down. And that's all you do. Now we're, we're actually moving the blade up, so Ken's gonna take one off and hand it here. And we just moved this deck up or the blade a quarter inch. So what you want to do is take all those uh, fittings off, take the blade off, put it back on. But this is how we adjust our cutting height. I try to leave the deck the same. That way, it'll go over the sprinkler. We'll clear all the sprinkler heads. Because if you adjust it by moving the forks here, then you might hit the sprinkler head. So we just move it by the blades. Put that back on. You don't have to hold it that time. You you normally have to hold it when you uh, use a socket. You can use a socket in the 15, 16 inch wrench, but the impact gun, I don't, yep. you don't have to hold it to put it back on. And then you reach underneath here, and again, you tighten them up. Whoop. There we go. One down. One down. So we'll come back over here. Like I said, you can take these forks out and move these spacers. Well, that's a dirty job too. Yeah. If you tilt the front end down, you got pavers or sprinkler heads. You might the front might hit it. So basically, what we do, I just put my hand up here again, hold these, He's right. yeah. and that's it. That's how you change the blades. Ken will drop it out. Normally, you would take all those off and slide the blade up, but we're just moving it up because this yard needs to be cut a quarter inch higher. And then you put them back on like this. Just like that. That's how you do it. And then he'll tighten it up. You don't have to hold it. Now if you use a socket, and you definitely need a wrench because the top will try to turn with you. But the impact gun's pretty quick. Like that. And Ken makes a lot of noise. Good job, Ken. Yeah. So that's how you change... The blades are move the cutting height on the 32 inch standard, right standard, fixed deck. The deck does not move. I'll do a review on this mower probably later this week since I do have, it's been three years since I've had it, so we'll do a review on it. So that's how you change them. That's how you move the blades, the cutting height, unless you, like I said, unless you want to drop these out and get greased all over you. Ken and I have done that once and nope, I'd rather jack it up. So there y'all go.